Good morning, everybody. And uh, I'd like to thank BDS for inviting Kasatu to this uh, press conference. It's uh, a further step in a very strong alliance between the two. And it's particularly uh, gratifying for me to be able to speak today on an issue on which Kasatu is totally, totally united, on which there are no differences of opinion, no doubts, no qualifications. We are 100% behind the uh, struggle of the Palestinian people and the BDS campaign, which is uh, the way in which South Africa can show its solidarity with that campaign. I think it's important just to remind ourselves, um, particularly the media when they report, just why we think this is such an important issue. Recently, we saw the events in Gaza, which led to the, uh, the death of over 2,000 Palestinians, mainly civilians, many of them women and children. And that uh, provoked a worldwide uh, protest. But when we had a meeting at Kasatu House with the Palestinian, amb Palestinian ambassador, he was very keen to emphasize that Gaza, Gaza was not some kind of exceptional situation and that we shouldn't forget the occupied territories on the West Bank where the, uh, the issues may not be quite so, uh, so gruesome uh, but are no less serious. And he gave several examples of the way in which the people on the West Bank uh, have to suffer under occupation by Israeli uh, state forces, which, uh, as he said, was very reminiscent of what it must have been like in South Africa for the majority black population. And he gave just one concrete day-to-day -day example. He says, um, if you're traveling from Ramallah to Jericho, which is about 30 kilometers, so probably between here and Pretoria, you would have to uh, leave yourself between two and three hours, not because of the state of the roads, but because the number of times you are almost certainly going to be stopped by Israeli troops uh, at checkpoints. And uh, that's the daily life of people on the West Bank. And recently we've seen the events of yet another attempt to build uh, Jewish settlements in uh, a part of Jerusalem, which has historically uh, been part of Palestine. And uh, again, it has echoes of the apartheid uh, policies in terms of population, uh, where they could live and where they couldn't live. And so that's why Kasatu and BDS have likened the campaign to um, the, the one against apartheid. And uh, it's particularly interesting for me because you maybe can't see it, but behind you there's a screen uh, showing footage uh, about the uh, anti-apartheid campaign uh, around the world. And uh, we're very uh, proud to be part of that tradition of civil disobedience, if you like, of boycotting uh, companies which have a key role to play. And I'm sure Woolworths will ask, well, why have you picked on us? And it was interesting, on the radio recently, they were interviewing Ronnie Castrells about the anti-apartheid campaign. And he was asked more or less the same question, why did you pick on Outspan? And he said, well, of course they weren't the only company which was uh, exporting to the world market from South Africa. But it was one with, with which people began to identify the struggle. Outspan became the face of apartheid South Africa. And so it was quite right to focus. And there were one or two others, of course, Barclays Bank at the time. And so I think it's absolutely right for BDS to focus, not necessarily to the exclusion of all others, because we have uh, in front of me, in fact, a very long list of companies trading in South Africa with uh, Israeli or, in particular, occupied territory connections. But I think it's, it's a good move to focus on one particular company. And uh, Kasatu and its affiliates have decided to get involved. Our Deputy International Secretary, as Anelli, who I hoped would be here today, she's obviously got held up somewhere, is now a shareholder in Woolworths and will be attending the meeting. 
and various Kasatu affiliates are also now considering buying shares and getting involved in shareholder activism, which is a very progressive move, not just on the, on the, the Palestinian issue, but in fact on many other issues. Uh, ordinary members of civil society are getting involved on environmental questions, human rights issues, where companies are seen to be uh, at odds with the principles on which they stand. And so we fully support uh, people with shares using the power they have. And uh, I hope that, uh, as well as individuals, some of Kasatu's investment companies will get involved in uh, taking up progressive causes like this. And uh, we wish you every success in your campaign at the AGM. And you can be rest assured that whatever happens to Kasatu over the next uh, few weeks and months, one thing will not change our commitment to support the struggle of the people of Palestine. Because uh, I think it's one of the worst problems of capitalism that uh, they take an incredibly short-term view of what is good and what is bad. And um, in relation not just to this issue, but other humanitarian issues, our message to businesses that there are more important things to strive for in this world than pushing up your share price. And uh, this is one of them. Obviously, treating their workers properly is another one, uh, looking after the environment. But certainly when it comes to uh, solidarity with people who are being oppressed and persecuted, surely that counts for more than whether the share price goes up or down. But I totally agree with Mohammed that in the long run, I think it will actually do Woolworths a great deal of good if the AGM comes out with a firm decision that they're not going to uh, deal with Israel. And uh, it's the kind of a good marketing which is uh, relatively rare. We saw the example just l last week of Cell C, who uh, reacted in absolutely the worst possible way from the point of view of their image and their long-term future by refusing to uh, handle a complaint from a, co a consumer. The uh, Woolworths issue is far bigger than that, but I think we can learn lessons from that, that by taking a stand on behalf of uh, a people who are being oppressed and persecuted, they will gain enormously. Even their share price in the long run, I'm sure will uh, eventually end up higher than it would be if they continue to uh, go against public opinion and uh, trade with these Israeli companies.